I'm Steve Spencer from SMB Capital. Today I want to talk to you about the concept of cash flow trading. As short-term traders, our, our job is to be ready every single day, watching the market, watching different stocks that are in play, and trying to identify good risk-reward setups. And inside the universe of good risk-reward setups, we have something that, that are called A-plus setups. These are, these are your best trades, have extremely high risk-reward, um, and they're trades that we teach traders on our desk to risk a significant amount of their, their daily, daily stop. Uh, many traders will risk 30% or more of their daily stop on these trades. Um, but on some days, we don't get any A-plus setups. And what we get are what I like to call cash flow trades. And these are trades where you'll put some risk on um, because you've identified a pattern that's occurring, whether it's um, a particular support area in a stock or a particular resistance area, and you'll feed inside of that range and you'll create cash flow. And hopefully sometimes those cash flow trades can lead to um, a larger winner. So I wanted to take a look at Twitter this week, actually, it made a new all-time low on Monday. Um, maybe it was Friday. We had a big bounce at the beginning of the week. And after that big bounce, um, we look to see if the stock will begin to hold higher and develop a range for possibly more continuation to the upside. And what we noticed was, when you look at the left side of the chart, what we can see is it had put in its, um, actually, the, a new all-time low. Um, I guess that was actually on Friday. And then on Monday, we gapped up to about $28 a share and had a big move to the upside. And so you can see very heavy volume. We can see the volume there. And what I look for is after that move, can it hold above? Um, can it hold that gap from, from the beginning of the week? And what we noticed was on the first day, you can see actually that initial drive um, took it above that blue line. You can see the, the next bar came down and touched the blue line, which is right above 28.50. So the next day, what we put on our morning idea sheet was Twitter big move off the, the all-time low. Let's see if it can hold that 28.50 to 28.60 area. And perhaps the buyers will start to assert themselves at higher levels. And the following day, what did it do? It dropped out again, so I bought the stock. Um, what did it do again on Thursday? It dropped down to that level again, and we noticed that it's holding that level. So what I've been doing each time it comes down to that level, so I buy some stock, it moves away from the level, I sell some stock. So what I'm doing is I'm creating cash flow and covering my risk, so at a point if it actually breaks out of that top of that range that was established at the beginning of the week, I've now built up some, some P&L to kind of risk for a bigger move. And so um, not an A-plus setup, not something I'd risk a ton of money on, but something that once I've identified uh, important support areas where buyers continue to come in, I'll buy there and you know, sell inside of that range um, to create some cash flow. So that's today's lesson, cash flow trading. Thanks for joining us.